So one of the things I'm really passionate about is hand washing your car. Now this doesn't necessarily relate just to Tesla. It's any car that you've invested in that you want to take good care of. But I always cringe when I see people going through car washes. The car washes with the brushes probably do the best job of getting the dirt off your car, but they have the chance to scratch your car or leave marks. And then the brushless car washes don't do a good job at all of getting the car clean. So today I wanted to walk through the products that I use to hand wash my car. So because we've all washed cars in the past and it's something everybody's probably familiar with, I thought I'd lay this video out by first going over all the products that I use, what I've purchased, as well as the process and the steps that I follow. That way, if you don't have an interest in seeing me physically wash the car, you can end the video. And if you wanna stick around and see how I wash the car, you're welcome to stick around. So I follow a two bucket wash method. I have one bucket filled with just water and it has a screen on the bottom of it. This is the bucket I use to clean my sponges. I run the sponge along the screen and that gets all the dirt out of the sponge and the dirt settles to the bottom of the bucket. From there, I take the sponge over to a clean bucket filled with soapy water and that's what I use to wash the car. Now, one of the most important products you need is a pressure washer, but you wanna make sure you don't use just any pressure washer. I have one for cleaning concrete and siding, but the max PSI is 3200, which is just too high to use to wash a car because you'll do damage to the paint. So I went out and purchased an Electric Greenworks 1500 PSI pressure washer that is used specifically for washing cars. Now this is a high enough PSI to get the dirt off, but it's not too high that it's gonna do damage to your paint. Now with the pressure washer, you really wanna go out and get a soap cannon. This does a great job of really coating the car with a thick soap. And that soap sits on the car for a little while that breaks down the dirt and just allows you to clean it much easier. This is one I picked up off Amazon for about 10 bucks, and it works, but I'm not crazy about the nozzle. The, it doesn't really have a thick lather to it, so I went out and purchased this one from Chemical Guys. It's a little bit more expensive. I haven't used it yet. I'm gonna use it for the first time, but I'm hoping this does a better job than the cheap one I purchased off Amazon. In terms of soap, I went out and purchased uh, Shift. It's a pH neutral soap from uh, Shine Supply. I bought this from Elite Finish and this has done a great job. Because it's pH neutral, there's no chemicals or anything in it that are really gonna do damage to the paint and I just really like the way it looks. Also from Elite Finish, I picked up this waterless mist. Um, this stuff is great. I like it because there's a lot of times where I've just washed my car, there's a little bit of dirt on it. I can use this with a microfiber towel and really get the car looking clean again. I actually keep this in the back of the car so I can touch it up when I need to while I'm on the road. After I've washed the car and while the car is still wet, I spray this product from Aero Cosmetics. It's a wash wax all and this looks great. It's like waxing your car without waxing your car. All I do is while the car is wet, I spray this on it and then when I dry it, it kind of gives it that wax finish. So this stuff I really recommend. Going down to the wheels, I use a product from Chemical Guys. It's a wheel cleaner and what I'll do is I'll spray this on the wheels, let it sit for a minute and then I'll go through with a brush and really get the wheels clean. And then for tires, also with Chemical Guys, I'm using a tire shine that I'll rub right along the tires. What I like about this is it's dry. I've used other tire cleaners that are wet. You have to let them sit for a while. Otherwise, all those chemicals splash up onto the side of the car when you go to drive. So I really like this because of the finish. On the interior, I'm using 303. It's, it's just a really good product. It gives it a nice clean look. It's not too wet and it doesn't have a feel to it. It goes on really easy. If you have little scratches in any of the internal like vinyl, you can rub this on and it seems to buff them all out. So this stuff is phenomenal. And then on the glass, I'm using Sprayway. I bought a case of this. This stuff is phenomenal. Um, I just, I love this because it gets all the water spots out. It's a really good product. 
One thing that I use for the pressure washer is this undercarriage sprayer. So this attaches to the pressure washer wand and then you can spray under the carriage of the car to really get down low where normally you might miss. This is a really good product. It was like 20 bucks off Amazon. Then I have multiple sponges. This is just a mitt that I use. This is from Chemical Guys. This is a great product. It's primarily the one I use. I'll also use this in the event I drop that on the ground or something. This also has this fabric on the side that's great for bugs or and you know the Teslas have that huge front. This is a great product to get bugs off the front of any Tesla. So now we move to my towel bin and this is where it gets a little bit OCD because you'll notice that most of the towels in here are color coded. The color of the towel tells me which area of the car I use that specific towel and it ensures that I don't use towels that I use on my wheels, on the paint, or on the interior. So the first are my drying towels. These are just three large microfiber towels. They aren't color coded because there's only three, so I know what they're for. Over here I have my Elite Finish microfiber towels. These things are phenomenal. I primarily only use these with the waterless mist, but sometimes I'll use them in a bucket to wash the car as well. Over here I have a dark blue. These are specific for the wheels, so they only get used on the wheels. Underneath that, I have a yellow towel. So on the interior of the car, I'll use a, the 303 cleaner and put that on the pad applicator. And I use this to apply the cleaner. Then I go over it with a yellow towel just to make sure everything looks clean and looks finished. I have a gray towel. These are specific for dust. So once the car is cleaned, if a day or two later I start to notice dust collecting on that large dash. I'll use this to get the dust up. And then because the roof of the Tesla is glass and it's so large, I will use this and my glass cleaner to really get it clean. But then I also have an orange towel which is specific for glass. So this is windows or any area of the glass that I can touch by hand. And then last but not least, I have these random blue towels. I don't really use these for anything other than I need a towel not specific for anything, then I turn to these blue ones. So those are the towels, those are the cleaners. Now let me walk you through the process I use to clean the car. All right, so now a breakdown of how I use all these products and in which order. So typically the area that needs the most attention are the wheels. So I start with my wheel cleaner and spray all the tires. Now what's great about this cleaner is it can sit for a minute and it doesn't do damage to the wheels. I've used other cleaners in the past that had warnings that said don't let the cleaner sit for longer than 30 seconds. That's not the case with this, so I spray it on and I let it sit so it can break down some of that brake dust. From there, I turn to my pressure washer and the soap cannon, and I spray down the entire car with soap. I want the soap to have time to break down some of that dirt, so that's the time I use this. While that's sitting, I go back to my wheels, take my brush, and I completely clean the wheels, spray them off, and get them clean. Once the wheels are clean, I move back to the car with my buckets, and I hand wash the entire car just to go over it, get all the dirt off, and make sure that's clean. Once I've washed the entire car, then I take my pressure washer in just water, and I wash off all of the soap and make sure that everything looks good. If everything looks good, I'll move to drying the car. So I'll take this spray, and I spray it on the areas as I dry. This gives it that nice, clean, finished look, and I really like using that while it's drying. Just to ensure I don't get water spots, I then move to all the glass. I'll use the glass cleaner and some of my tools to really make sure that all the water spots and all the glass looks clean. Once that's done, I move to the interior with my 303, my pad applicator, and my yellow towels, and I clean the entire interior of the car. And then last but not least, I go back to the tires and I put my tire shine on and clean the, the outside of the tires, and that's it. All right, I'm done. I didn't think I would finish before it got dark out, but I'm done, so I'll show you what it looks like. So here we go. And again, it's dark out. Wheels look nice. We got the inside all done. It's a little too dark to see that.
that's it. That's how you detail a car by hand. Now, I'm not an expert, so you might have a better suggestion. If you do, please let me know. I'm always looking for a better way to do it. So get better, be better. We'll see you in the next one. See ya.